Hello, welcome to this new video, and in, in this new video, we are going to start talking about what TACAS and radios is, and how they work, right? But first of all, let's take a look how we authenticate, because that's what TACAS and radios is. What they do is they authenticate and authorize user over a network, right? And I'm gonna show you a way that that I was using before, which was just by doing a username and giving username and then a password one two three four five six. And this is what is called a local database, right? And then we will go into line three two y. Uh, not even line with two. Let's go console zero and login local right and using that to log in I'm sorry let's use that some kind of I like to using that okay so this is the way that we were doing it before right we were just by creating each username to the local database in the in the router which works fine right it is it is good to use a lot of people use it like this but it is only good or useful if you only have let's say like five routers in your company and there's only like two of you I'm working on routers and two of you can use can log in by using this local database right you can just create a username for you and a password for your username and then create another one and then the thing is that you have to go to the other router and do the same to that router and then go to the other router and do the same to that router what about if we have about like 80 routers so you have to go on each router one 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 by one and configure and that is not good right you want to use a server for that and that's how tacax and radios comes in and i'm going to show you how to configure that correct and what radios is is a standard protocol right and it uses udp and it combines authentication and authorization it does not use accounting and the other one is TACX plus which is a Cisco owned protocol and it uses TCP remember that radius uses UDP and TACX uses TCP protocol and, and TACX also uses um, authentication authorization and also uses accounting okay and TACX uses port 49 and it encrypt the password and also encrypt everything but radius does only encrypts the password. Remember that? Radius encrypt only the password and TACAS encrypts everything. It encrypts the entire packet. And what we're going to do is we are going to configure a TACAS server on this packet tracer, which is kind of cool. We can do that. Let's go ahead and set this one as this, path, this um, IP address. And so let's go here. Go ahead and open this server on packet tracer and we're going to go to services first of all let's go to desktop and let's configure that ip address and it is 255.255.0 default gateway is going to be one which is this one right here okay that's good that's good and now let's configure a service the service that i want to do is authentication authorization and accounting and the one that we're going to use is we're going to use we're going to use not radius we're going to use tag like I said before and the name of the client let's give it a name to this router host name r1 there it is so the client that we're going to use to authenticate is going to be r1 so let's give it a client r1 and the secret we're going to call Cisco one two three, and that's going to be the key that is going to use to authenticate to this server. And the client IP is ten dot one dot two dot one, I believe. That's the server. Okay, ten dot one dot two dot one. Okay, that's good. And TACAS is good. And now we are going to add a secret. We're going to add that, and here it is. We are going to authenticate this router. 
and now we are going to create a username just create username asker password one two three four five six let's also use a let's do another one let's say cisco password cisco oh this they want to do four five six so I, don't, so I don't remember and let's do another one admin one two three four five six okay and here it is this server is all set up it's on the client is r1 ip address is good server is tacos and the password is or the key is cisco one two three and we created three usernames okay oscar cisco and admin and the same password so let's exit out of here and let's go to the router right now in the router remember when let me show you this line console zero when we went to this login he only gave us the well now it's giving it both of them because there's another router okay let's just forget about that let's exit out of here and what we want to do is let's create first of all a new model right enter and now after that we have to configure the attack as Ta that server and we're going to give it a host and that host who, who's hosting is 10.1.2.2 okay so it is 10.1.2.2 and now we have to give it a key and the key if you remember the key that I gave it was let's see I remember it was Cisco 123 this is the key Cisco 123 that's the key Cisco 123 let's see what else okay and that is it for now boom and now we have configured a TACAS server and after that we have to go to port A and what we want to do is we could do accounting authentication or authorization what we're going to do is we are going to authenticate so let's go authenticate authentication and what do we want we want to authenticate we want to authenticate the login okay the login and so the login to this to log into the server you have to authenticate with that TACAS server let's see what else and let's just do leave this as default and then after that what is this is giving us is what you want to what is going to be your backup okay and the backup to this what I want it to be we wanted to back up to the local database so that username that we configured first which was asker 123 so if this server ever goes down what is going to do is going to authenticate with the local database correct and we can also do another backup we can use just a group or the enable backup but we, let's give it let's leave it like that it's local okay and what I mean by local is we can do a and show run running config let's see and what I mean by local is this username and password that we gave right when we went to let's say config t I don't want you guys to get confused when I create this username right here and then I give it a password this is what is going to be the backup if the server ever goes down and cannot communicate with it okay and also now let's go to config uh, I'm sorry for that but we are on config t so now we are going to authenticate also the enable authenticate enable and I want it to be the default and that's how I want it to leave it I don't want any backup for that so let's just leave it like that oh incomplete command so we have to give it a backup the backup for this let's just give it a none for nothing and here it is so now what we have to do is line vty 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 0 to 4 so the login that I want to use is 
authentication. We're not going to use a local database. We're going to authenticate to the server. Okay, authentication. Oh, sorry, authentication. And let's get rest default. And here it is. And now we have configured to use a, either a console port or to remote in via telnet is going to authenticate using the server okay so now let's end it and let's do a copy run start and let's exit out of here and now what it's doing is user authenticate user verification and we have to use one of the accounts let's do the admin to see if we can log in with that admin okay so the username admin password one two three four five six hmm. it said it's invalid so we have to use the local because we enable i remember we enable sorry for that when we did that what is it okay yeah to authenticate the enable using the default and we have to use if I remember Asker what was the password uh, Cisco let's go back uh, Cisco one two three login invalid hmm Asker Cisco okay Asker Cisco one two three hmm there's not a little bit to authenticate so let's go let me see if I can find it uh, in here. We won't be able to find it here. So let's see if we can tell net to this um, router using this IP address, using the telnet command. Telnet. Telnet to this. And we are going to use admin one, two, three, four, five, six. Admin again one, two, three, four, five, six. Up. Ah, uh, let's turn it again. I'm sorry for that. So admin one, two, three, four, five, six. And here it is. I was able to authenticate using this tacas reaching the admin let's see if we can use now the Cisco password so let's exit let's clone it again using Cisco one two three four five six hmm it does not take Cisco let's see Cisco one two three four five six did I enter that right Cisco one two three four five six and here it is I entered a wrong password so we are able to log in with Cisco and now let's see if we can log in with Asker and let's do a let's exit out of here and now let's go ahead again and tell net into it using Asker one two three four five six and here it is so that is a way that we could use Takas, correct? Is to using Takas server to authenticate the telnet sections and without using what is called the um, the local database. So what happens, like I said before, if this one goes down, let's say that this went down and we want to turn it. What we're going to have to use this, we're going to have to use the local account, which I forgot the password for it. But in another video, I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to show you how to get the password. And also, I'm going to show you how to authenticate with the local account because this one, this line went down. But since this video got a little bit too long, I'm going to leave it there and on the next video I'm going to show you how to get the password that I forgot for this router for the local account and we are also going to configure 
radius since we already configured tackets. So this is it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.